Hey guys, um, I just stopped to document some of the work I'm doing at the moment. Uh, you can check out this battery here, it's a 12 volt uh, 30 amp lithium ion battery. And what I'm doing is I've got five of these and I'm charging one there, hooked up there, and I'm charging one that I've already put in my bike. And to show you what I'm doing with my bike to put these uh, lithium ions in, Basically, if I zoom in on some of the um, soldering I've been doing today, so this this charger here is going into this tobacco box here. Yeah, there we go. Smoking does indeed cause cancer. And what I was going to say, and what I've done is the lead coming out of the charger is I've chopped it up and I've added some Andersons on it and the Andersons are hooking up to some more Andersons in the tin which is then going down through into the battery bay in the footwell be careful and he is charging that battery at the moment so this this charger is charging that battery and what I've done is I've got this tobacco tin and I've cut four slots in it so I can put four sets of Andersons in there and each Anderson connects up with one wire and the, each wire runs into the battery bay down here there's four of them uh, three whites and a black and one of the whites I've already connected up to this battery here and it's working fine and now I'm just hooking up this black one and while I was doing it I'll show you what I'm doing so basically a tobacco tin um, cut four holes in it put four sets of Anderson clips in it and glue them in you can see how I've started gluing some in in the back and also when I close the lid I'll glue it back in place um, four sets of Andersons in the tobacco tin run the cables from the tobacco tin into the foot bay of the bike so from underneath the seat is where it will be charging and it'll be running into the battery bay. This is the basic um, uh, charge in uh, where the chargers connect up to, the positive in the middle and the negative connecting around the ring on the side. And what I've done with this, so I can use Andersons instead, is chop these two off and pull the wires back a bit and solder this battery onto one of the wires the wire runs up comes out of the tin as an Anderson and then what I've done is I've created I've chopped off this bit added it to an Anderson there which is this bit chop it off add Andersons to these two so the Andersons here can then can can then connect up to the tobacco tin which of course will be behind the front panel of the bike okay so I've finished the work on the battery bay and finished the work on the charging wires and sorted the charges out and everything's working really nice on this bike um, what's to note so far problems from the installation of these batteries uh, originally I used um, Anderson clips to connect each of the four batteries in the footwell together. Um, that didn't work well because if when you're going over speed bumps you only need an Anderson to slightly move and you can lose connection to the circuit and also the Andersons are just slightly going to reduce the flow of electric probably going through the circuit. So, to increase reliability of the bike, um, I took all the Anderson clips off and then soldered each of the battery wires together in series and then covered each of the solderings um, with heat wrap, uh, shrink wrap, heat shrink, there we go, heat shrink. And uh, the heat shrink basically just covers the uh, solder joint and keeps the water out and makes it not... In, um, you know, uh, isolates the power from, you know, um, cross-wiring with anything else. Um, but what I was going to say, um, this bike looks pretty sweet now. Um, let's have a look. Okay. 
you can see here where I've put the tin back in and now all the Anderson clips are sticking out and what I did is I drilled a hole through this panel here in and I drew <clears throat> excuse me um, drilled a hole through the tin behind it and I used a bolt and uh, a nut and bolt to keep them in place and then glued round it to give it some extra strength so when I actually push the Andersons in and out they're not you know it's not just gonna flick off glue is not strong enough when you're gluing metal to uh, plastic so you're going to need a bolt uh, a nut and bolt um, after I've put the batteries in here you can see I've taped it all off to keep any water out um, thankfully the battery bay case is flush with this I didn't know if I would slightly overlap say two or three millimeters so I'd have it protruding slightly um, under the fit under the seat there's the fifth battery um, that's hooked up using Anderson clips these are the only Anderson clips in the circuit uh, I've tested them there it's a good strong connection these two clips so I'm keeping those in and basically I can take this battery out and I've got a, a compressor which has also got Anderson clips on it so if my if uh, I do get a puncture on any of the tires I can simply take the battery out uh, with the compressor pump up the tire put the battery back in connect it up to the circuit and be on my way probably be heading home to uh, uh, fix the puncture uh, puncture on these geos is as, the same as pretty much as fixing a puncture on a bicycle just take um, on take the bolts off the wheels take slightly take the wheel off um, deflate the tire take the tire off um, get the inner tube, soak it in water, pump it up, see where the bubbles are, patch it with a standard regular bike, um, a bike uh, repair kit, you know, a uh, punch repair kit, and put your tyre back on, pump it up and you should be fine, literally there's no messing with these things. Um, the camera at the back and the monitor at the front are working pretty well off a standard um, power bank at the moment. But um, these lights I've added on, uh, they're gonna need, I've been using a small power bank for them, but I've set them to 36 volts instead of 12. Um, so I'm going to need a bigger, uh, bigger power bank. But I'm waiting for two um, 30, uh, 30 amp power uh, power banks from China that are due this week. So I'll see how they, they go. Even though this is 60 volts now, this system, what you'll find is that underneath the seat, the because the controller's not changed, and it'll probably be still a 450 watt controller, if it's got its regulator in place, it should still be giving out 250 watts to the rear wheel, the rear motor. Um, but what you will find is that there'll be more amps in them there'll be more push in the amps from in the wattage going to the motor and that's where the acceleration is coming from and also the extra voltage always compensates for any drain by the light systems or the other electronics on the bike um, the idea of the batteries, the 12 volt 30 amp power lithiums, is that the speed doesn't particularly change, um, even though it gives you a constant um, high speed rather than uh, peaking out on the lead acid batteries after 30 seconds reducing to a slower speed. This just keeps up the high speed. So, um, yeah, it's still legal because it's an electric bike under EAPC law. And even though the EAPC law has a clause in it which says um, you do need pedals on your EAPC, well, in fact, this isn't an EAPC, it's an e-bike, as it's um, powered by an electric engine, and to put pedals on it would create would make it into an EAPC where this isn't an EAPC it's simply under EAPC law because e-bikes don't have their own law according to the um, Ministry of Transport they just get shoved under EAPC law so um, yeah I hope that I'll give you a, 
an idea if you've you're um going to create your own upgrade your own 60 volt array and um if you live in the uk at least you've got an idea on um explaining it to the cops when they pull you which they do and um they're usually quite friendly and like the idea anyway so don't worry about it but yeah i think this is a great uh form of transport and even though the cost is slightly heavy up front these batteries should last eight years so i'm quite looking forward to um riding out on it over the time until it gets stolen so hope uh, it's helped and uh, as always keep an eye out for any other videos i might post over the coming weeks